Hi guys, welcome back to Expecting Soon and in this episode, I'll share with you guys what I'll be bringing with me to the hospital in my hospital bag. I am due in less than two weeks. I've chosen a very nice date but um, we're just praying hard that the baby doesn't come out any sooner but uh, most importantly, I want the baby to be healthy so that's all that matters and um, let's bring you guys with me on this journey. So this car seat was passed down to me by um, Debbie So it actually belonged to Starly And I have removed all the padding and stuff and washed it I have brought with me this product to sanitize Basically it's like for COVID to prevent all the bacteria and viruses yeah. Next will be all the important documents The marriage cert, the IC We even have a birth plan inside So all these are very very important And the admission form So that when you are actually going into labour You don't have to worry and panic about all this stuff So everything's in here Hopefully I didn't miss out anything Next will be just a small little bag of baby stuff With some mittens um, A baby's bib Oh, this one some baby's clothes Debbie bought this for baby <laughs> It's very very cute And then we have got some Beanie And a swaddle Don't really know how to work this thing yet But I'm sure we'll figure it out When uh, it goes in it <laughs> Oh 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 And we have some baby socks It's very cute here with me, I've packed some nursing clothes. Not the sexiest, but I know. Gotta feed the baby. We also have a nursing cover. Again, I don't really know how to use it yet, but I'm sure I can just cover the nursing part, right? Okay, moving on. So I bought a massager for the milk machines. So in case we have some difficulties, we can use this there's some like scooping parts and stuff so we'll figure it out soon and then we've got some nipple butter it's organic so uh, a few tools for breastfeeding so in this bag is from yes mama this one was given to me it's a pre-packed hospital bag of course i've added my own stuff and they also gave me a list of what to add in so we've got some Toiletries for mummies, so all the essentials And then we've got some warm fuzzy socks in case I get cold in the hospital Got some bedroom slippers as well And then I've got some pets for the kitty cat <laughs> Body and face towel Disposable undies Laundry bag to put our dirty clothes Some hand sanitizers for baby Some baby wipes Then I've just added some of my personal stuff like um, facial wash Some dry shampoo because we're not allowed to wash our hair For 30 days after giving birth So I'm pretty sure this will come in handy Brought my stretch mark cream so this bag might not look very big but it can fit a lot of stuff Especially all the essentials that we need for the hospital Other than my hospital bag, we also have another bag It's a diaper bag from Yes Mama as well They provide all different brands of diapers Samples for the baby to use in case the baby gets uh, some allergic reaction to different brands So. I think it comes in really handy okay, So next here we have some cooling therapy for both the milk machine and the kitty at the bottom So these are some DIY petsicles um, whereby we combine two ingredients One is the witch hazel and also some pure aloe vera gel onto some maxi pads and we put it in the freezer so that it will help with vaginal birth cuts and apparently it helps with the healing so I've made 20 of these and I hope it does what it says it will do and also here is some cold therapy this thing here are for the 
milk machine. Basically, it can be frozen or it could be warm so that it helps with lactation basically. Here we have um, a changing mat. I'm just going to put it in the car in case of emergency. We got to change the diapers on the go. It was given to me by my guy Ni. And we have got some ergonomic carrier, baby carrier with the insert for the infant. So of course, I've got to pack something for myself. Um, the hospital is going to be very cold, so I was told to bring like a long sleeve, comfortable wear. So I just brought an oversized hoodie with a zip because uh, if I want a nurse, I can just unzip it. You know, yeah. So last but not least, I'm going to share with you guys my baby's name. I know all of you guys have been guessing, but so far, none of you guys got it right. Hopefully it doesn't change after I see him. <laughs> so here we go. His name is Caleb. So it's spelled K-A-Y-L-E-B. And it means being wholehearted, faithful, and very devoted. So we hope that baby Caleb lives up to his name. Can't wait for him to be a healthy boy. And can't wait to meet him. So that's it for what's in my hospital bag. I don't know if I'm under or over prepared. I guess everything will come into place. If you need something out, you can probably ask your partner to go home and get it or get it from the hospital. Don't worry too much about packing and stuff because it really stressed me out until I started packing and then I'm like, did I pack too much or is something missing? So we'll never know, but um, we'll take it one step at a time. Currently, I am feeling very overwhelmed. I'm excited, I'm ready, but not that ready to meet baby Caleb. So all mummies out there, um, don't stress too much about all these and just enjoy the process and trust it. So thank you guys for watching and Click here to subscribe and click here to watch our latest video and I'll see you guys when baby comes up. Bye!